reformation then rehabilitation rehabilitation and then reintegration in the society second one was jammu kashmir election third one was that pagers attack suna hai naam pagers attack okay and the fourth one was that uh, deliberation was going on the recommendation on the committee ramnath kovin committee on simultaneous election yes so four things we will discuss out of these four two are important for Uh, pre plus mains and two are important for prelims okay so what do you understand by bulldozer justice kya hai bulldozer justice demolition houses so is it a legal or illegal process illegal why it breaks out fundamental right but uh, if you can uh, if you have constructed your house on uh, illegal property or have encroached some of the property and you have constructed you have house on that then it is the right of the municipality or the authorized government to destruct your house there is no issue with that it is the argument of the government that we are only destructing or demolishing those part which is illegally constructed yes so bulldozer justice is the form of instant justice where governments or municipalities are acting upon that encroached land okay yes or no uh, don't you think that this process is arbitrary in nature why arbitrary aisa hona chahiye kya aisa hona chahiye kya so what should be the procedure बताओ तो सही बोलोगे जब तक तो काम चलेगा ही नहीं ऐसे प्री इनफॉर्म्ड होना चाहिए व्हाट इज द रेगुलर प्रोसेस ऑफ जस्टिस व्हाट इज द रेगुलर प्रोसेस ऑफ जस्टिस फर्स्ट इंफॉर्मेशन शुड बी गिवन इफ एनी वन हु कमिटेड एनी क्राइम देन फर्स्ट पुलिस विल बी इनफॉर्म्ड एफ आई आर विल बी लॉज यस देन who will decide that this much punishment should be given judiciary and in front of judiciary everyone will be having equal right to represent themselves yes at least one fair chance of hearing should be given to everyone this is the process of justice this is the due process that we follow but in the case of bulldozer justice that due process is not followed if you com- committed any crime or if you are involved in any uh, communal violence or caste riot or any such illegal activities then gov- government will come and demolish your house in that particular house your parents are also living your parents are also living wo bhi criminal hai kya no they are not criminal but they are also punished in fact that house is not registered on your name wo to aapke pita ji ka house tha yes but they demolish the property of your father why because they have son committed any crime which is disliked by the government concerned yes or no so don't you think that this type of justice is not good for a civilized society such types of punishment are given in the medieval time where anyone who committed any crime his family members were also punished yes but this is the this is not the practice of the modern democracy bol sakte hain aisa that is why this particular term was in the news last week and supreme court said that till october 1 there will be no bulldozer action aapne dekha hoga that bulldozer action uh, became famous from uttar pradesh 
and now many a times madhya pradesh government also followed the same process and recently uh, in haryana that new violence yes that new communal rights haryana government also demolished many of the houses of those accused who involved in that communal violence so many of the states are following the same thing okay so supreme court <clears throat> decided that we will devise a proper guideline for that samajh gaye to isko detail mein dekhte hain ki hai kya actual mein okay so first thing that bulldozer of justice is a refers to the practice of practice of using bulldozer to demolish the homes and properties of individual accused of crime involved in protest often without due legal process accused of crime in indian democracy or in any of the modern democracy criminal justice system follow one rule that is innocent until proven guilty yes or no ye hai na ek rule hai that you will be innocent until you will be proven guilty but this particular notion of bulldozer justice reversed this particular paradigm you are guilty until proven innocent you got the idea jo paradigm tha wo shift hua ke nahi hua or na shift hua it is completely reversed you got the idea jaise hi pata chala ke aap kisi protest mein shamil the aur wahan pe kuch aag jani ho gayi ya kuch danga ho gaya then your home will be demolished which is not a good thing so in modern democracy it is followed that innocent until proven guilty but this paradigm is reversed via bulldozer justice first thing second it has been used as a form of retributive governance disproportionately affecting the certain community what do you understand by retributive governance or retributive justice punish karna hai okay look there are three theories of justice three theories of justice one is retributive theory another one is deterrent theory and another one is reformative theory the retrieve beauty with theory believes in an i for an i that the punishment should be equivalent to if you want to write then you can write these theories yes mai di nahi hai punishment will be equivalent to the intensity of the crime okay jitna crime kiya hai utna punishment and i for an i don't you think this particular theory involves revenge yes or no this particular theory involves revenge ke aapne ek aankh phodi hai then we will blind you yes crime jitna hai utna punishment hoga so it involves the feeling of revenge yes or no feeling of revenge in the name of in the name of balancing out aap bol to rahe ho ki we are balancing out jitna isne crime kiya utna punish kiya to balance ho jayega hai na inhone inki aankh phod di then ye bhi inki aankh phod degi तो ये बैलेंस हो गया यू गोट द आइडिया बट इट इज नॉट द बैलेंसिंग आउट इट इज द रिवेंज यस फर्स्ट थिंग सेकेंड थिंग डोंट यू थिंक दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्योरी इन्वॉल्व एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट यस एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट इज इन्वॉल्व इफ यू आर ब्लाइंडिंग समवन देन इट इन्वॉल्व क्रुअलिटी यस सो इट इन्वॉल्व एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट 
एंड इट इन्वॉल्व क्रुअलिटी सो कैन वी से दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्योरी कैन नॉट बी अप्लाइड इन द मॉडर्न डेमोक्रेसी यस बिकॉज वी आर फॉलोइंग ह्यूमनिस्टिक प्रिंसिपल यस स्टिल दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्योरी रेटरी ब्यूटी थ्योरी इज प्रैक्टिस इन मेनी कंट्रीज लाइक सऊदी अरेबिया शरिया लॉ है ना सऊदी अरेबिया ईरान और आप बोल सकते हो मेनी ऑफ द गल्फ कंट्रीज फॉलो दिस पर्टिकुलर थ्योरी बिकॉज ऑफ देयर ओबीडियंस टूवर्ड शरिया लॉ You got the idea. What is retributive beauty with you, V? But why a bulldozer justice? We are following the same thing, which is not good, because animal instinct is involved in it. Yes, the feeling of revenge. It's like state is taking revenge from those who involved in the protest or those who involved in any of the crime. You got the idea, which is not good for modern democracy. ठीक है एक और चीज डेटरेंट थ्योरी वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय डेटरेंट क्या समझते हैं इस वर्ड से टू क्रिएट फियर ओके गुड इन डेटरेंट थ्योरी इट इज सेड दैट यू विल बी पनिश्ड यू विल बी पनिश्ड not because you have stolen you have stolen a sheep but you will be punished in such a way that no sheep will be stolen in future okay yes you will be punished in such a way that no ship will be stolen in the future yahan pe to kya tha jitna crime utna punishment aapko nahi lagta yahan pe punishment crime se bahut zyada hoga yes why because state has to create deterrence लोगों को डराना भी है ऑब्जेक्टिव यू गॉट द आइडिया स्टेट को डराना भी है बाकी लोगों को कि ऐसा क्राइम नहीं होना चाहिए अब यस दिस इज द डेटरेंट थ्योरी इफ यू वांट टू राइट फ्यू पॉइंट्स लिख लीजिए इसमें पनिशमेंट विल बी आर्बिट्ररी एंड एक्सेसिव पनिशमेंट विल बी आर्बिट्ररी एंड एक्सेसिव सो एज टू क्रिएट फियर so as to create fear or deterrence in the society in the society yes again next point animal instinct is involved animal instinct is involved next <coughs> state is punishing you sun lijiye state is punishing you not because you have stolen something but state will punish you in such a manner that no further thing will be stolen it is like this means you are used as an means to an end you are getting me aap ek khilona ho you are used as a means to achieve the higher end what is the higher end ki future mein koi chori na ho yes don't you think that this is against the human dignity this is against the kantian ethics isko ethics se bhi jod sakte hain hum okay uh, immanuel kant one of the philosopher okay western philosopher he said that individual should not be used as a means to an end individual is the end in himself aap kisi bhi insaan ko as a tool use nahi kar sakte ho which is against the human dignity but in this particular theory human being is used as a means to an end 
ओके लिख दीजिए डेटावेंस थ्योरी इंडिविजुअल इज यूज एज एन मीन एज ए मीन्स टू एन एंड विच इज अगेंस्ट द कांटियन एथिक्स विच इज अगेंस्ट द कांटियन एथिक्स विच से इज दैट ह्यूमन बींग इज द एंड इन हिमसेल्फ इज द एंड इन हिमसेल्फ एंड इन हिमसेल्फ ओके यू गॉट द आइडिया वॉट इज डेटेवेंस थ्योरी सो इट इज लाइक क्रिएटिंग अ फियर इन दी सोसाइटी अगेन यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ फियर इन दी सोसाइटी इज इट इन सिंक विथ डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटी मॉडर्न सोसाइटी डेमोक्रेटिक और मॉडर्न सोसाइटी में फियर तो होना ही नहीं चाहिए यस बिकॉज इन डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटी वी बिलीव इन लो अबाइडिंग सिटीजन we all have certain fundamental duties fundamental rights yes so fear should not be there but you are creating fear in the society which is also unethical yes or no write down this point as well that creating in the creating fear in the society creating fear in the society is again unethical unethical and not in sync with and not in sync with not in sync with modern democratic society modern democratic societies this theory is practiced in dictatorial regime dictatorial regimes like give one example क्या होगा नॉर्थ कोरिया यस नॉर्थ कोरिया ओके यू कैन आल्सो राइट चाइना इफ यू वांट टू राइट ठीक है रशिया में नहीं है ऐसा फिर भी ठीक है वहां सिर्फ पुतिन के लोग आपको मरवा देंगे वो अलग बात है लेकिन ऐसा डायरेक्ट नहीं है ठीक है डिक्टेटोरियल रेजीम दिस इज दी डेटेवेंट थ्योरी नाउ A reformative theory, which is practiced in most of the modern democracy, a reform. Name say it clear. Reform, reform means, sudharna. Kisi ko bhi sudharna. Okay. This theory believes that anyone who have committed certain crime, okay, that particular individual or that accused is not the only responsible person for that crime, because of his or her socio economic condition he performed a certain activity usne ye jo churai hai ye is wajah se nahi churai thi koi si bhi cheez ki usko maza aa raha tha hai na usne churai thi kyunki kuch socio economic condition aisi rahi hogi okay to is wajah se usko punish nahi kiya jana chahiye rather than punishing any individual reform them yes that is why for reformation they should be sent into the prison prison ko sudhar grah bhi bolte hain theek hai india mein uski definition alag hai ki wo prison mein ja kar ke aur bade gunde ban ke nikalte hain bahar hai na lekin aisa nahi hai prison ka matlab hi kya hota hai sudharne ke liye bhejna you got the idea okay likh dijiye in modern democracies this theory in modern democracies this theory is practiced which believes that <coughs> which believes that accused is not the only person who is responsible for who is responsible for any crime rather than rather rather his socio economic socio economic or we can say political circumstances forced him to commit a crime forced him to commit a crime next point 
they believed that they believed that accused is not a criminal rather than a victim of crime rather than badi badi baatein hain rather than a victim of crime you can also write one thing court and court punish the crime not the criminal not the criminal okay so next thing rather than punishing individual should send to the prison individual should send to the prison for reformation for reformation okay so for certain p period of time he or she will be sent to the prison and then via reformation he or she will be reintegrated in the society okay so reintegration rehabilitation and reformation ye theory mein do cheez aati hai reformation so first one will first step will be reformation then rehabilitation rehabilitation and then reintegration in the society very integration in the society this is modern sociological anthropological or psychological approach that we follow okay in modern democracies you got the idea now ye baat hui gayi hai yahan tak then tell me something about capital punishment what is capital punishment death penalty so don't you think death penalty is nothing but the retributive justice or deterrent justice yes or no we are giving death penalty to those individual who committed crimes like cold blooded murder rape and murder yes or no mass violence genocide etc yes or they are involved in the terrorist activity yes so via capital punishment we are also creating deterrence or not yes because if you do something like this then we will give you death penalty so our justice system like in india we follow the combination of both deterrent and reformative yes in most of the cases we follow reformative theory but in a way of rest of way of crime we also prescribes data went to justice you got the idea likh lijiye ek last note dal kar ke point that indian criminal justice system indian criminal justice system follows a reformative theory of justice a reformative theory of justice but in rarest of rare crime but in rarest of rare crime rarest of rare crime it also prescribes death penalty or capital punishment death penalty or capital punishment rarest of rare crime you can underline that particular thing rarest of rare crime this is one of the doctrine propounded by supreme court have a rest of rare doctrine kaun sa case tha wo nahi yaad hai have a rest of rare crime so kya bola maine abhi prescribe ha huh? also prescribe death penalty in have a rest of rare crime theek hai so this is all about justice system ab aapko yaad rahega kya hai aur hum kya follow karte hain theoretically reformation rehabilitation and reintegration because those accused should be rehabilitated and reintegrated in the society again wo wapas se jail se nikal ke society ka part bante hain na so rehabilitation and reintegration also requires okay this is ha huh. <clears throat> yes that is why we are having a reformative theory 
we are saying that we follow that event theory in a way of a stroke for your crime like kolkata rape and murder case yes so if guilty will be proven then those accused will be awarded death penalty that is for sure aise cases mein hoga death penalty otherwise normal reformative theory will be there yes or no theek hai so moving ahead with this bulldozer justice so now you got the idea it has been used as a form of retributive governance retributive governance clear to you that is taking revenge it bypasses the legal procedure what is the legal procedure if you want to demolish any structure or any illegal construction first municipality should send a legal notice yes if the concerned party is not acting upon that legal notice then municipality will follow that demolition drive yes or no it is seen as a form of instant justice extra judicial punishment and in uh, form of instant extra judicial punishment and it is the form of instant justice what is instant justice aajkal ye bada society mein news mein hai what is instant justice society sentimental ho kar ke bol deti hai we want in instant justice abhi ke abhi punishment chahiye hame yes in most of the cases like aise koi se bhi case hue like kolkata wala case ho gaya ya इस टाइप के कोई से भी केस होते हैं तो वहां पे सोसाइटी का एक सेंटिमेंट बन जाता है दैट वी वांट इंस्टेंट जस्टिस होता है ऐसा इज इट अ गुड थिंग और बैड थिंग बैड थिंग व्हाई बैड थिंग व्हाई बैड यस जस्टिस डिलीवरी सिस्टम का एक प्रोसेस होता है एंड दिस प्रोसेस विल टेक टाइम चाहे वो फास्ट वे कोर्ट क्यों ना हो फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट भी बनाएंगे उसमें भी टाइम तो लगेगा ना फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्ट में भी एक प्रॉपर लीगल प्रोसीडिंग होगी या नहीं होगी सो सर प्लीज डू टेल इन इंग्लिश सर जी ओके क्या बोल रहा था मैं ओके देयर शुड बी अ प्रोसीजर इफ यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग दैट प्रोसीजर देन जस्टिस कैन नॉट बी डिलीवर्ड एट ऑल instant justice is not a justice at all yes you may feel like that justice is done but justice is not done okay justice is not done in case of instant justice encounter killings what what are encounter killings or extra judicial killing instant justice is it a right thing or wrong thing wrong thing yes why because proper procedure is not followed what if that particular individual who was killed in any of the encounter later police will found something which will prove that person's innocence that encounter killing cannot be redone yes cannot be reverted yes or no you got the idea so instant justice is not a justice at all rather than demanding instant justice we should demand reforms reforms in investigation reforms in police system reforms in judicial system we should establish uh, fast track courts yes or no but we can not follow such things like bulldozer justice or encounter killing because these process will punish many of the innocent in the future yes or no that is why we should not go via these things okay much like encounter killings bulldozer action is a state sanctioned punitive violence state sanctioned means because state is authorizing such violence okay is state sanctioned punitive violence that is conducted extra legally and indeed in the violation of the rule of law bulldozer action has become even arbitrary and vindictive with a house being demolished because 
द टेनेंट सन वॉज अक्यूज ऑफ कम्युनल क्राइम कैन यू बिलीव दिस टेनेंट्स सन ओके सपोज आई गिव माई हाउस ऑन रेंट नाउ दैट पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल सन इज इन्वॉल्व इन द कम्युनल क्राइम देन माई हाउस विल बी डेमोलिस्ट इज इट ए गुड थिंग और बैड थिंग बट दैट हैपन ओके बुलडोजर एक्शन इज कॉन्ट्रवरी टू ऑल फॉर्म ऑफ सिविलाइज सोसाइटी इट टारगेट नॉट ओनली द अलेज परपिट्रेटर ऑफ एन ऑफेंस बिफोर एनी गिल्ट इज प्रूवन गिल्टी टिल प्रूवन इनोसेंट ओके दिस इज नथिंग बट द रिवर सिंग द पैराडेम दैट इज इनोसेंट अंटिल प्रूवन गिल्टी ओके सो गिल्टी इज प्रूवन बट बाय डिस्ट्रॉइंग ड्रेजिंग प्लेसेस इंटायर फैमिली इज पनिश्ड इट इज नथिंग बट द कलेक्टिव पनिशमेंट which is not the norm in the modern societies okay the remnant of the medieval society where individual would be punished for the treason by having their families executed along with the them so we are going with the same model okay <coughs> implication of bulldozer justice okay first one is violation of due process what is due process that we have discussed that proper procedure is followed first legal notice should be sent then if they are not acting upon that legal notice then via an order of court or via information of the court municipality can uh, proceed with their demolition drive yes or no so it is against due process actions are often taken without the following due process undermining the principle of natural justice and fundamental right what is principle of natural justice many of the concepts are involved in this particular discussion kya hota hai polity class nahi hui kya abhi indian polity yahi dekh kar ke nahi bolna hai what is principle of natural justice there are three principles of principle of natural justice first one is let other side be heard as well means at least one chance of fair hearing should be given to the accused this is the proper procedure or not in front of the judge that accused person of rape or murder will be given a fair chance to represent himself yes or no via an attorney it is nothing but the let the other side be heard as well one chance of fair hearing should be given first second no one is judge in his own cause i am the guilty and i am the judge it will not be possible yes or no why i am the judge and i am the guilty it will violate the principle of natural justice it cannot be done and third one provide a reason for the decision if you are giving death penalty to anyone then you should provide the reason for it you means that judge yes or no if uh, municipality is going via demolition drive then they should provide reason for it but first thing they should be they should be given a chance of fair hearing to that individual okay whose house has been demolished you got the idea this is principle of natural justice so it is violation of due process violation of principle of natural justice the right to shelter is a fundamental right under article 21 under article 21 it is recognized as the part of right to life third one is lack of transparency decisions are taken without involving or uh, reforming the affected parties fourth thing ethical issue bulldozer justice conflates the role of judge jury and executioner and goes against the constitutional principle of separation of power only one authority is doing all the things we are having the concept of separation of power what is this principle what is separation of power power is separated between different organs of the government like 
दिस गवर्नमेंट और स्टेट पावर इज सेपरेटेड बिटवीन द थ्री ऑर्गन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट वन इज एग्जीक्यूटिव वन इज लेजिस्लेचर एंड वन इज जुडिशरी ओके ऑल द पावर्स आर नॉट कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन दिस सिंगल ऑथोरिटी बट हियर मुंसिपैलिटी बिकेम जज यस और नो और एग्जीक्यूटिव बिकेम जज दे बिकेम जूरी एंड दे बिकेम एग्जीक्यूशनर विच इज नॉट गुड थिंग ओके सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर शुड बी देयर Why separation of power is must for any democratic society to avoid the misuse of power to ensure checks and balance. Checks and balance, sunai. What is checks and balance? Yes, one form of government or one organ of the government, like executive will check legislature or. जुडिशरी विल चेक एग्जीक्यूटिव और जुडिशरी विल चेक लेजिस्लेचर यस ओ नो लाइक दिस लाइक दिस नो डेमोल्यूशन विदाउट अवर परमिशन फॉर टू वीक्स से सुप्रीम कोर्ट वाइल हेरिंग द प्ली अगेंस्ट द बुलडोज ऑफ जस्टिस सो हु वॉज प्रोसीडिंग विद द बुलडोज ऑफ जस्टिस एग्जीक्यूटिव आर्म एंड हु इज चेकिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग judiciary this is nothing but the checks and balance and it is possible because of the principle of separation of power okay so this particular thing is against separation of power as well okay then authoritative approach authoritative approach such justice may be used as a tool for further political or personal interest when government is failed to do something or failed to prevent any communal violence then they they will proceed via bulldozer of justice to satisfy the sentiments or emotion of the society yes or no or normal citizen so their failure will provoke okay will provoke that particular arm of the state to proceed with the bulldozer of justice which is not good thing so it can be misused for political or personal interest loss of public trust a perception that justice is forced rather than served can be erode public trust in the institution yes in many of the cases many of the cases those houses are also demolished who are constructed ओके ऑन द ग्रांट्स ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना ओके इन मेनी ऑफ द केसेस सो फर्स्ट यू कंस्ट्रक्टेड दोज हाउसेस एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग विद द डेमोलेशन मींस यू आर कॉन्ट्रडिक्टिंग योर सेल्फ यस ओ नो क्योंकि यू मे हैव डन द वेरिफिकेशन दैट ऑन विच पर्टिकुलर प्लेस और विच पर्टिकुलर साइड that particular house is uh, house will be constructed yes or no so you are contradicting yourself in many of the cases that thing also done next target to minority various data shows that the muslims are the disproportionately affected by these demolition one of the ngo aapne naam suna hoga that amnesty international amnesty international reported that 128 properties mostly owned by muslim were demolished in between april to uh, april and june 2022 affecting 617 people okay that report was published by very well known ngo that is amnesty international okay <clears throat> then judgments of the supreme court this this judgment was passed by supreme court on 18th september abhi do din din pehle theek hai that no demolition without our permission for two weeks say supreme court while hearing the plea against the bulldozer justice so they have have chances that supreme court will prescribe a guideline that in these circumstances you can follow bulldozer justice apart from that supreme court will ban this type of actions of the executive arm okay so the law did not permit destruction of homes
properties of accused awaiting trial or even the convicts okay this is also violating one of the principle which is mentioned in article 20 what was that janka bhi polity ki class hui batao aapka to hui gaya hoga nahi hua harsh nahi anyone what is article 20 double jeopardy very good double jeopardy on the one hand the convict will be sent to the jail on the other hand his house is also demolished Article 20 says that no double jeopardy. What is no double jeopardy? Yes, anyone cannot be punished twice for the same offense. And you are punishing him twice. First, you will be sent that per a particular individual to jail. And the second, you are demolishing his house, which is not permitted by the law itself. In fact, you are violating Article 20 of the accused person. Okay. First thing. Second, the authorities would not be permitted to bulldoze the law of the land. Okay. Because you are against me. There would not be, uh, there would not be no bulldozer demolition without the leave of the Supreme Court till October 1. Okay. Justice Madan B. Lokur. Former judge in the Supreme Court said that the bulldozer justice is contrary to all canons of the law. Okay. These are the statements of Supreme Court. There are certain uh, Supreme Court cases like first one is Menka Gandhi versus Union of India which says that process must be fair, just and reasonable. If any of the process is not fair, just and reasonable, which means it will be declared unconstitutional, illegal by the judiciary. And this particular process or these particular actions of the executive arm or any of the municipalities are not fair, are not reasonable. Yes or no? So they are illegal. We can mention Menka Gandhi case. Second, Municipal Corporation, Ludhiana versus Indrajit Singh. 2008 which says apex court says that no authority can directly proceed with the demolition even of the illegal constructions even of the illegal constructions without providing notice and an opportunity of being heard to the occupant again same cheese a principle of natural justice that that occupant must be given at least one chance of fair hearing yehi bol rahe? same cheese hai then Olga Tezis versus Bombay Municipal Corporation emphasized the necessity of due process and ruled that con eviction without notice violate right to livelihood under Article 21. Then Punjab and Haryana court intervened to stop the demolition in the NU recently. Abhi teen chai mahine pehle ki baat hai. Okay. In NU citing lack of due process and potential ethnic targeting. Okay, then Bachchan Singh versus State of Punjab, Vishakha versus State of Rajasthan and Puttu Swami versus Union of India 2017 has laid down the principle that the constitutionally guaranteed fundamental right must be interpreted in a manner that will enhance their conformity with the international human rights law. Okay, so you can mention at least two case law in any of your answer. You got the idea? What is bulldozer justice? Okay. What are the ethical arguments are also involved in it? Yes. In fact, we can also say that bulldozer justice also violates Kantian ethics because you are demolishing anyone's house in order to create fear in the society, which is not good. So same thing can be asked in your GS paper too. And same thing can be asked in your GS paper 4 as well write down one question and if you want then you can write and i will check your answer okay if you will send me okay write down what is bulldozer justice for paper 4 okay for gs paper 4 
फॉर बुलडोजर जस्टिस सॉरी वट इज बुलडोजर जस्टिस एंड वट आर वट आर एथिकल डायमेंशंस इन्वॉल्व इन्वॉल्व इन द एक्शंस ऑफ एक्शंस ऑफ स्टेट इन डेमोलिशिंग इन डेमोलिशिंग हाउसेज ऑफ अक्यूज और कॉन्विक्ट ऑनलाइन क्वेश्चन क्या क्या है बसु इन द केस ऑफ तेलंगाना रेप केस एनकाउंटर द अक्यूजेस वट आर द स्टेप्स टेकन अगेंस्ट द आई पी एस ऑफिसर सर अब ये मुझे कैसे पता होगा यार तेलंगाना रेप केस बहुत पहले का है ये आज से तीन चार साल पहले का है अब उसमें क्या एक्शन लिया ये नहीं पता यार मुझे ऐसे क्वेश्चन तो मत पूछो <laughs> हाँ अरे नहीं कर सकते एनकाउंटर करने के लिए जुडिशरी गाइडलाइंस थोड़ी ना देगी ओके दिस इज फॉर योर पेपर फोर ओके पेपर टू में भी लिख दीजिए दैट What is bulldozer justice? Bulldozer justice. Second part is का how far it is right or correct? It is right or correct or legal? Legal to demolish the house of an accused. House of an accused. Full stop. और question mark इसमें एक और point लिखना है ये फिफ्टीन marks में लिखना ठीक है Mention case laws also. Mention case laws also. <coughs> okay with this? ठीक है तो ये दो question. You have to write one for the paper oh, two. Repeat the first question. One for the paper. What is this? क्या बोल रहे क्या बोला Can you repeat the first question, sir? First question. What was the first <laughs> question? What is bulldozer justice? Okay. And what are the ethical dimensions involved in the? actions of the state in demolishing houses of an accused okay these two questions write down and send me and one more thing which is related to paper one also that is your essay paper you can mention all of your knowledge via writing any of the essay if you want first thing it is said by martin luther king that Injustice anywhere is threat to justice everywhere. Now, if you are interpreting that bulldozer justice is nothing but injustice, then we can use that particular thing in this essay. That yes, but we have discussed that for immediate justice, we can reform the process. Yes, we can reform the process. हम उसको fast track कर सकते हैं. we can establish fast track court we can uh, fast track the investigating process and we can fast track the judicial process also and after judicial process we can also fast track the execution as well yes many of the reforms are involved in this in polity classes we have also discussed that in criminal justice system many of the reforms are required first is police reform because the same police is enforcing law and order and the same police is conducting investigation they are not specialized in conducting investigation and because of those faulty investigation that guilt or that uh, crime is not proven in the court the same thing ha is happening in the case of that arjikar medical college of calcutta because of faulty investigation that guilty is not proven in the court yet yes or no 
so police reform is needed second thing judicial reform is needed because judiciary is overburdened so judicial reform is needed third thing is fast track courts needs to be established fourth thing is prison reform is needed so entire criminal justice system needs to be overhauled okay that is why we cannot go via instant justice uh, rather than talking about instant justice we should talk about these reforms then we can expect that uh, government will act on time okay so you can use your knowledge in the form of these four essay usually it is justice delayed is justice denied okay in most of the cases justice delayed in india and that is why we are talking about instant justice yes or no but we cannot go via injustice that is in justice is anywhere uh, injustice is anywhere is threat to the justice everywhere if we go via bulldozer justice then we will follow this principle yes or no because it is not justice it is injustice and you can also use these two things also in me se ek shayad koi sa pucha hua bhi hai ye wala pucha hua hai these two questions you can found in many of the test series of many institution in the market ye wala pucha hua hai bahut jagah that justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are outraged as those who are so i will suggest that write an essay on this particular topic it was asked by upsc as well aise likhna aata hai bachpan mein likha hoga abhi ek bar try karo to sahi hai na so i will suggest that write an essay on this particular topic justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are okay and ये नहीं लिखना है तो इस पर लिख सकते हैं दैट द डेड कैन नॉट क्राई आउट फॉर जस्टिस इट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ द लिविंग टू डू सो फॉर देम ओके सो यू कैन राइट वन ऑफ द एस एधर दिस और दिस दिस इज ऑल अबाउट यूर फर्स्ट टॉपिक दिस इज सेकेंड टॉपिक वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग केस स्टडी एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंट विल बी रिमेंबर्ड इन फ्यूचर एज वेल बिकॉज हाउ smartly this particular thing has been carried out by israel or we can say uh, that mossad the intelligence agency of israel what was the case because uh, it is believed that these phones that we are using right now the smartphones they are hackable and israel is having very good in fact uh, one of the most powerful cyber army okay powerful cyber army they can crack any of the system okay so because of the fear those terrorists of hezbollah shifted on pages 3 months ago okay and they gave some <coughs> contract to some taiwanese company to build that those pages for them so israel entered in the supply chain israel planted some sort of device in that and the result is in front of you okay so this was the case kya hai dekh lete hain iski technical aspect that uh, hezbollah's widespread use of pager hardly considered a high tech form because pagers are not used right now yes because most of them we are using smartphones so we are not using pagers right now ये बहुत आउटडेटेड टेक्नोलॉजी है वाई बट वाई दे आर यूजिंग बिकॉज दे दे आर कंसीडर्ड एज द इम्यून फ्रॉम एनी टाइप ऑफ साइबर अटैक और साइबर ब्रीच यस दैट्स व्हाई दे दे स्टार्टेड यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग वाज प्राइमरीली अ सिक्योरिटी प्रिकॉशन द मिलिटेंट ग्रुप हैड रिपोर्टेडली ऑर्डर इट्स मेंबर टू फोर गो यूजिंग मोबाइल फोन अवेलेबल दिस ईयर ड्यू टू द कंसर्न दैट दे कुड बी मोर इजिली ट्रैक्ट in their place they were given ar 924 pagers thousands of which were sourced from a taiwan based brand called gold apollo okay experts have an opinion that this was not a cyber attack why because that 
technology is not a smart technology so it is not the cyber attack it was it's like israel uh, entered in the supply chain infiltration in the supply chain which makes how the pagers were manufactured and who was involved all the more critical the explosion was likely triggered by pre implanted explosive possibly activated via radio signal as simple as the paging system itself ek beep hota hai waise beep hua interestingly hua kya hai isme pura okay this is nothing but a brutal attack by israel because most of them and we all of are carrying our phone in our pocket तो ब्लास्ट सबका इस वाले एरिया में हुआ है ये एरिया खत्म हो गया ज्यादातर लोगों का एंड दो लिसन दैट पर्टिकुलर बीप ओके तो उन्होंने क्या किया होगा फोन ऐसे निकाला होगा तो किसी का यहां फटा आर यू गेटिंग सो दो पीपल हु आर इंजर्ड मोर देन थ्री थाउजेंड पीपल दे आर नॉट ओनली इंजर्ड दे विल बी डिसबल्ड फॉर लाइफ okay some sort of injuries you can be recovered from that those injuries but such type of injuries okay are not recoverable you got the idea aisi wo injuries hui hai ki yahan pe nikal diya to wo aag ke samne phat gaya aisa hua hai wo theek hai to ye attack itna easy nahi hai ki injury bahut hai to bach hi jayenge nahi bahut zyada dikkat hai isme while such an operation would have been difficult to execute it is beyond the capabilities but the point is country like israel is obviously still the master of intelligence in the region and we as creek and as associate professor of security study at kings college london noticing that it has a network of intelligence and information collection that is unparalleled okay the point is we should learn from mossad okay These are pagers. Video game भी आता था ना ऐसा याद है वो वाला Yes, है ना <coughs> Pagers की difference. अब हमारे काम की बात क्या है Differences functionality. Pagers primarily <coughs> pagers primarily designed for one way communication. Okay, one way communication means you are sending one message. and then other person will send a message simultaneous messaging nahi hogi aur na call pe koi baat hogi aisa hai one way communication it receives and displays short messages numeric code some advanced pager can send response but this is not common so it is basically for one way communication okay mobile ios a smartphone running Apple iOS operating system. It support two-way communication, internet access, multimedia capability, wide range of application. We know because we are using that particular thing. But it is one-way communication. First thing. Second, connectivity. Pagers uses radio frequency. Which type of frequency is used by your phone? The radio frequency ही होती है वो भी. डोंट बी कंफ्यूज विद दैट ये भी रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी ही है ठीक है इसको कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी दे ऑल्सो यूज सेल्युलर नेटवर्क वाई फाई ब्लूटूथ फॉर कनेक्टिविटी अलाउंग दम फॉर इंटरनेट एक्सेस इन वेवियस ऑनलाइन सर्विसेस बट वेन एवर वी आर टॉकिंग विद दैट पर्टिकुलर फोन ठीक है दिस इज नथिंग बट दी रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी Don't be confused, okay? It is radio frequency, है ना ये और कोई सी frequency नहीं है So pagers are also uh, working on radio frequency. They are also working on radio frequency. Third thing, often used in environments where quick available communication is essential, such as hospitals, emergency services. वहाँ पे pagers use होते हैं mobiles used for a wide range of activity including communication entertainment productivity and more security and privacy pagers offers a level of security and privacy due to its limited functionality and lack of internet connectivity internet connectivity nahi hai that is why it offers security but mobile I ios devices have robust security feature they are also more susceptible to cyber threats 
due to their internet connectivity and extensive use battery life generally has a longer battery life theek hai wo pad lenge aap okay so this is the difference between pager and ye bhi wohi hai dekh lena koi badi cheez nahi hai public safety corporate business specialized use done with this okay one more report news mein tha so i mentioned because we are discussing terrorism or terrorist activities hezbollah is nothing but a terrorist organization okay so that was the report that india improves in the global terrorism index ranking in 2024 but the bad news is that south asia is still remain the region most affected impacted by terrorism why south asia south asia means our region why golden triangle golden crescent is about drug trafficking it is not related to terrorism why south asia is most affected by terrorism yes you are true most of the internationally designated terrorist organizations are located in pakistan and which is bordering with afghanistan as well that is why south asia is troubled and most impacted by the terrorism because of the presence of pakistan and afghanistan ek list ek google search karna that how many terrorist organizations are present in pakistan you will be having fair idea theek hai dekh lena kitne terrorist organization hai wahan pe and they are internationally designated aise chote mote nahi hai theek hai yes internationally recognized terrorist organization okay that is why okay so india continues to improve its global uh, terrorism index ranking yet south asia remains the region most impacted so our ranking is kaha di hui hai 14th okay our ranking is 14th overall okay that's all for this news now polls under way what powers will be the new jammu and kashmir assembly okay so earlier jammu and kashmir was having a special provision we all know article 370 and because of that jammu kashmir was having special status that thing was changed after 2019 that special status was removed article 370 was abolished the state ho statehood of jammu kashmir was abolished and jammu kashmir was divided into two parts one is ladakh another one is jammu and kashmir yes and uh, one more thing both the territory of jammu kashmir ladakh as well as jammu and kashmir was converted into union territory my question is can union government do that is constitution allowing union government to convert any of the state into union territory yes give me the article or constitutional provision for that article 3 but article 3 is not saying that you can convert any of the state into union territory article 3 is not saying that article 3 is saying that union government can reorganize the states reorganization means state uh, union government can change the boundary like division of the state of andhra pradesh into andhra pradesh and telangana yes division of bihar bihar and jharkhand it is like that reorganization union government can change the name also like odisha ka bhi kuch change hua tha theek hai hai na kuch change hua tha na waisa to kya uh, any of the state can be converted into union territory don't you think that this particular thing is against the principle of federalism yes or no can union government do that there is no provision in the constitution which permits union government to convert any of the state into union territory otherwise our system will be unitary in nature federalism will be gone the state will be having no autonomy but we are saying that we are having federal system have you getting my point or not 
यस हम बोलते हैं ना दैट वी आर हैविंग फेडरल सिस्टम विथ सम सोर्ट ऑफ यूनिटरी बायसनेस विच मीन्स स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स आर ऑटोनोमस स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स आर पावरफुल दे आर इंडिपेंडेंट बट यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज मोर पावरफुल दैट डज नॉट गिव यूनियन गवर्नमेंट ऑल द पावर्स टू कन्वर्ट एनी ऑफ द स्टेट इन टू यूनियन टेरिटरी एंड दैट वॉज द केस विच वॉज हर्ड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑल्सो वी अफॉर्म द सेम थिंग दैट यू कैन नॉट कन्वर्ट एनी ऑफ द स्टेट इन टू यूनियन टेरिटरी बट ड्यू टू द सर्कमस्टेंसेस एंड ड्यू टू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ मिलिटेंसी एंड ड्यू टू द इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान एंड मेनी अदर सिक्योरिटी रीजन सुप्रीम कोर्ट अलाउड यूनियन गवर्नमेंट टू कन्वर्ट यूनियन अ स्टेट इन टू यूनियन टेरिटरी ओके दिस इज यूर टास्क दैट जस्ट गो एंड सर्च दिस पर्टिकुलर केस जम्मू एंड कश्मीर असेंबली केस और री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन केस वॉट सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेट जस्ट रीड दैट आउट ओके सो सुप्रीम कोर्ट अलाउड इन स्पेशल सर्कमस्टेंसेस बट दिस इज नॉट द नोम अदरवाइज अवर फेडरल सिस्टम विल बी नो मोर it will be against the constitution it will be against the vision of our uh, forefathers we can say yes or no yes so article 3 only gives power to the union government that union government can reorganize the political map of india and they did many a times they divided madhya pradesh into madhya pradesh into chatisgarh they divided uttar pradesh into uttar pradesh and uttarakhand just like that Yes, recently they merged two union ter territories. One is Daman and Diu, and another one is Dadar and Nagar Haveli. But the case with respect to reorganization of Jammu Kash Jammu and Kashmir is different. Okay, okay with this online. कुछ doubt पढ़ लेते हैं. Still not said about the how to write introduction part of international relationship question. अबे यार आप ऐसे class के बीच में कहाँ से बता दूँगा मैं आपको? ठीक है. इंट्रोडक्शन क्या पूछना है बताओ आप क्या लिखना है नोट सेड अबाउट हाउ टू राइट इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ इंटरनेशनल रिलेशनशिप क्वेश्चन इन मोस्ट ऑफ द आई आर क्वेश्चन यू कैन प्रोसीड वाई आर रिसेंट इंसिडेंट लाइक इफ मैंने आई आर की क्लास में बताया भी है शायद आप लोगों को दैट इन like uh, any of the question is coming from russia ukraine war or india ukraine relation so we can mention the current context like recently indian prime minister visited ukraine and he signed or he said this thing so you can start via this like any of the question is coming from uh, any international organization like brics so we can say that recently the brics uh, brics nsa summit was attended by our nsa yes and he made this statement okay so your introduction should be like this or if any of the question is coming not from the current event or the current happening then you can write some of the historical background of that ke bhi kar sakte hain hum theek hai ठीक है इतना क्लियर हो गया है ना चलिए तो इसमें देख लेते हैं बाकी कुछ है नहीं इसमें आपका होमवर्क क्लियर है दैट यू हैव टू रीड दैट जजमेंट जम्मू एंड कश्मीर री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सो इन 1947 इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ एक्सेशन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एक्सीडेड टू इंडिया व्हाट वाज इंस्ट्रूमेंट ऑफ एक्सेशन I believe have many of the princely states were there. At least five twenty nine princely states, five sixty five states. The princely states, most uh, most of them remained with India and remaining merged with the Pakistan. So that instrument of accession was nothing but a document prepared by V P Menon, the personal secretary of Sardar Patel. He prepared that document and he presented that document in front of. the rulers of those princely states it is nothing but the agreement between those princely states and government of india that we are merging our territory with the government of india that was instrument of accession where many of the privileges many of the immunities okay 
were given to or were ensured to those rulers okay but with time all those immunities privileges were abolished like uh, one of the example of those immunity was or pri uh, privileges were that privy purse okay that was ab uh, abolished in 1971 or 69 privy purse ka naam suna hai sabne history ki classes nahi hui hai okay privy purse was nothing but an amount or pension which was fixed by government of india to the rulers of those princely states who merged their territories into the government of india or in the union of india that we will provide certain pension to you okay that was privy purse okay so instrument of accession was signed by jammu and kashmir under article 370 it is stood before the abrogation part uh, parliament had limited legislative power respected to jammu and kashmir over the years however the center's law making power was extended to the cover several other subjects in the union list okay but before 370 union government was not having extended power with respect to jammu and kashmir due to article 370 due to the special status which was given by Union government to the Jammu and Kashmir, but the Reorganisation Act of 2019 created a vastly different structure in which the Lieutenant Governor has much bigger role compared with the State Assembly. This can be understood from the two key provisions. First, Section 32 of the Act, that is Reorganisation of the Jammu and Kashmir. Section 32 says that. which deals with the extent of legislative powers of the assembly it states that subject to the provision of this act the legislative assembly may make laws for the whole or any part of the union territory of jammu and kashmir uh, with respect to any other matter enumerated in the state list except the subjects mentioned in the entries 1 and 2 that is public order and police so jammu and kashmir assembly cannot make the laws with respect to these two subject one is public order another one is police just like delhi government delhi assembly can make laws on all the subjects which are mentioned in the state list except three subject one is public order second one is police and third one is land okay which means all the union territories are not ruled uniformly we can say this governance structure in all the union territories are different for jammu and kashmir assembly power is something different with the state assembly of delhi bol sakte hai sir okay so first thing is section 32 that jammu and kashmir assembly cannot make laws with respect to police and public order first thing second section 36 special provisions as to finance bill wohi finance bill hai that in case of finance bill the prior recommendation of the lieutenant government is required just like the money bill okay money bill can be introduced only with the prior recommendation of governor or president the same thing is true with this case okay ये कुछ नहीं है लीगल टर्मिनोलॉजी है वन मोर सेक्शन पावर ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एल जी सेक्शन विच डील्स विद द रोल ऑफ द काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर स्टेट्स दैट द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर शेल इन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द फंक्शन एक्ट इन हिस्स डिस्क्रेशन इन द मैनर विच मीन विच मीन्स डिस्क्रेशनरी पावर आर ऑल्सो गिवन टू द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर विच फॉल्स आउटसाइड द परव्यू ऑफ द पावर कन्फर्ड ऑन द लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली मीन्स वी कैन से दैट वेसिडियोरी पावर Yes or no? The residuary power lies with the lieutenant governor. What is the residuary power? Anyone? First, go and turn off this. <coughs> yes, residuary power. Anyone? Look, many of the subjects are divided in the three list. there are certain subjects upon which central government or central parliament can make laws they are known as central list subject there is one list 
Yes, like national security, banking regulation, just like that. Second list is state list. Okay. State legislature can make laws related to those subjects. State list. One is concurrent list. Certain subjects upon which union and state legislature can make laws. Both can make laws. But what about those subjects which I have not mentioned in any of the list? <clears throat> you got the idea? Because many of the subject cannot be mentioned. However, constitution was formulated in 1947-1950s. At that time, cyber crime was not there. So cyber crime was not mentioned in any of the list. You got the idea? Yes. So cyber crime is nothing but the residuary subject or not? Or in future, we don't know that what will happen. Suppose in future, we will be giving citizenship to robots. They have our chances. That provision is not mentioned in anywhere in the constitution. That powers lies or that particular thing will be known as residuary subject. You got the idea? Right? Yes. In general, residuary powers lies with the union government. But in case of Jammu and Kashmir, it is said that residuary powers lies with the lieutenant governor. Yes in which it is required by under law or act or in his discretion exercise any judicial functions related to all India services and anti-corruption bureau. This means that apart from the public order and police, bureaucracy and anti-corruption bureau will also be function under the LG's control. Okay. So entire bu bureaucracy will be under this man. The provision also says that whenever any question arises, whether any matter or is not as a matter respect to which the lieutenant governor is by or under this act required to act in his discretion, the decision of the lieutenant governor will be final. Okay? That lieutenant governor ka jo decision hoga, that will be considered as the final decision. Which means you are giving all the powers to the lieutenant governor. Nothing else. Abhi, abhi. Ye abhi ka hai na? Okay. We can compare other union territories as well. Kon kon si hai abhi? Lakshadweep, Puducherry, Andaman Nicobar, Delhi, Ladakh, Jammu Kashmir, Chandigarh and Dadar, Nagar, Haveli, Daman and Diu. Three union territories are having Legislative Assembly, Puducherry, Delhi and Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. And their governance structure is not uniform. We have already discussed. Abhi aur bata deta hu kaisa hai. Okay. A provision related to union territories. Part 8 of the constitution from article 239 to 241. This is the constitutional provision. Even though all union territories belong to the same category, their administrative system is not uniform every union territory is governed by the president of india who appoints an administrator to do so so lieutenant governor is appointed by president an administrator of the union territory unlike the governor is an agent of the president it is an agent of president okay so the governor lieutenant governor of delhi is nothing but an agent of president but governor of Uttar Pradesh is not an agent of president it is an independent constitutional office okay one of the case related to that kya tha wo case Raghukul Tilak case okay if you want to write you can write one thing that is Raghukul Tilak case in which supreme court said that in which Supreme Court said that office of governor is an independent constitutional office. He is not the agent of president. Okay. And third thing is he is not subordinate to the union government. Okay. So office of governor is an independent constitutional office. He is not the agent of president. He is not subordinate to the union government. 
बट इन केस ऑफ यूनियन टेरिटरी लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर इज एन एजेंट ऑफ ओके द प्रेसिडेंट कैन नेम एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर इट कुड बी द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर चीफ कमिश्नर एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ओके इन सम ऑफ द केसेस इट इज लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर लाइक इन केस ऑफ दिल्ली इट इज लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर इन केस ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर एंड इन केस ऑफ पुडुचेरी ओके बट इट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर इन केस ऑफ चंडीगढ़ यस इट इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड इन केस ऑफ लक्षदीप इट इज चीफ कमिश्नर इट इज लाइक दिस ठीक है वाई यूनियन टेरिटरीज हैव बीन रिटेन Why we have not giving them uh, status of independent state? Is there any reason कि ऐसे ही चल रहा है सब चलने देते हैं क्या दिक्कत है? They are generally border areas. Yes, special geographical region, just like Andaman and Nicobar, or we can say Lakshadweep. For certain, we can say for certain union territories, it is geographical. Rather than geographical, we can say geostrategic region, है ना? Geostrategic strategic region because of their strategic location, we are not giving them independent status. Yes, for some of the union territories like Daman and Diu, Dadar and Nagar Haveli, it is a cultural thing. It is a cultural thing because their population is something different. then the other area so for something it is a uh, strategic reason for some of the union territories it is cultural thing for some of the union territories it is a uh, it is like to avoid the dispute chandigarh is the union territory why because chandigarh as a capital claimed by two state one is Punjab, another one is Haryana. That is why Chandigarh as a union territory is retained by the center. And in case of Delhi, why? Because Delhi is national capital. Okay. And in most of the countries, national capital is the part of union territory, which is controlled by union government only. Dunia me kahin bhi chale jao. Okay. in some of the classes we will discuss that why uh, independent status that is the status of state should not be given to delhi okay we will discuss that theek hai ho gaya itna ye kya aa gaya in cases of delhi puducherry andaman nicobar jammu and kashmir it is lieutenant governor In cases of Chandigarh, Dadar, Nagar, Nagar Haveli, it is administrator. Governor of Punjab is the concurrently administrator of Chandigarh. The president can also appoint governor of a state to serve as the administrator of a union territory bordering on it. Okay, the governor is to operate independently of his council of ministers in this particular role. Okay, one more time, let's learn this. Okay, that his capital is where it is. Like Ladakh, it is Leh. Okay. जम्मू कश्मीर की तो कश्मीर ही होगी चंडीगढ़ की चंडीगढ़ होगी है ना एक बार देख लेना इसको हाँ श्रीनगर होगी ठीक है लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर लेड बाय चीफ मिनिस्टर हैव बीन एस्टेब्लिश इन द यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ पुडुचेरी इन 1963 पुडुचेरी में भी तो कल्चर है यस बिकॉज पुडुचेरी वॉज द पार्ट ऑफ फ्रेंच कॉलोनी यस सो टू प्रिजर्व दैट पर्टिकुलर कल्चर इसको भी यूनियन टेरिटरी का स्टेटस दे दिया दिल्ली इन 1992 एंड इन जम्मू कश्मीर 2019. However, the establishment of such institution in union territory does not negate the presidents and parliaments supreme control over them. For the union territory, parliament has the authority to enact legislation on any subject from the three list. so whatever the cry that aam aadmi party is making with respect to the control of the union to delhi assembly is not legal because constitution already provided the authority to the central government to legislate upon any of the subject okay and that is why 
despite of having so much friction between state government and the lieutenant governor most of the time supreme court gave decision in favor of lieutenant governor yes or no why because constitution is already permitted because delhi is the part of union territory delhi is not an independent state you got the idea and it is clearly written in the constitution that however the establishment of such institution institution means assembly president and parliament so supreme control over them is not reduced okay this means that even after establishing a local legislature for the union territories parliament legislative power over the subject on the state list remains unaffected you got the idea okay then legislative assembly of puducherry on the other hand has power to enact legislation on any subject on the state and concurrent list okay but in case of delhi except three subject one is land public order and police jammu and kashmir mein land nahi hai yahan pe yahi dono hai theek hai aisa hi hai similarly legislative assembly likha hi hua hai public order police and land jammu kashmir public order and police ओके यूनिफॉर्म स्ट्रक्चर नहीं है कहीं पे भी प्रेसिडेंट हैज द अथॉरिटी टू इशू रेगुलेशन इन अंडमान निकोबार ठीक है ओके एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक आज का लगभग पूरा टॉपिक ही पॉलिटी से रिलेटेड हो गया ठीक है जस्ट लाइक इन द फर्स्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल द टॉपिक्स से रिलेटेड टू साइंस एंड टेक कुछ लोग इतना डर गए कि वो आए ही नहीं साइंस एंड टेक से ठीक है क्योंकि इस वीक में साइंस एंड टेक का कुछ न्यूज में भी नहीं था वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन so are we having multiple elections yes like in june we had lok sabha election and right now we are having jammu and kashmir election next month we will be having haryana election and maharashtra election in february we will be having election for delhi and i guess election for jharkhand hai na jharkhand ka bhi hone wala hai theek hai so in every 3 to 4 month we are having one or two election yes what are the negatives of it <clears throat> policy paralysis why model model code of conduct will be in force and during the enforcement of model code of conduct governments cannot initiate new policy or program yes their implementation will be suffered and that is why it will lead to policy paralysis the entire governance will be uh, taking a halt during the enforcement of model code of conduct this is the first thing so we can say that most of the time our governance is on halt because of the enforcement of model code of conduct yes this is the first thing apart from that very good okay in every election government has to incur certain expenditure like deployment of forces deployment of officials yes and this will incur expenses so more number of election more will be the expenses okay second apart from that aur bataiye cost ho gaya na cost iske alawa batao what are other points that we can make एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव हर्डल्स ठीक है पॉलिसी पैरालिस यू कैन कंपेयर बोथ द पॉइंट यस और क्या होगा बोलो सोचो वट आर द आर्ग्यूमेंट इन फेवर ऑफ कंडक्टिंग साइमल्टेनियस पोल और साइमल्टेनियस इलेक्शन सर इन केस द पार्टी इन वन ने इन एनी स्टेट लूसेस मेजोरिटी देन in that case conducting one election will not be possible sir right now we are giving arguments in support we will also give argument against simultaneous poll first we are discussing those arguments which can support the cause of simultaneous election so first give those arguments can we say that uh, voters apathy is also a big concern because multiple times like during the lok sabha 
suppose you are a deshbhakt kind of person so you have visited to your own constituency for voting yes okay like mujhe jana hoga to main yahan se bhopal jaunga एक दो दिन की छुट्टी दे करके तब जा करके अपने गांव पहुंच पाऊंगा जहां कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी है यस सो इट विल रिक्वायर एट लीस्ट वन टू टू डेज फॉर मी फॉर और टू एक्सरसाइज माय राइट टू वोट यस एंड इट विल कॉस्ट मी द ट्रेवल एक्सपेंस प्लस वन डे सैलरी आल्सो यस क्योंकि वो एक दिन की सैलरी भी काट देंगे हो गया ओके सो ये वन टाइम एक्सरसाइज हो गई ओके सपोज इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ आई हैव टू कास्ट माय वोट फॉर द स्टेट असेंबली आल्सो, एंड इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ और इन आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ आई हैव टू कास्ट माय वोट फॉर द पंचायत इलेक्शन आल्सो, आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट एवरी टाइम आई कैन नॉट विजिट टू माई कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी टू कास्ट माई वोट यस इट इज वोटर एपेथी You got the idea. What is Waters' apathy? This is the Waters' apathy. Yes, and because of that, Waters' turnout will be less. Like in the last Lok Sabha election that recently concluded in the June, overall Waters' turnout is around sixty-six percent, which is very less. Yes, why? Because of this, many people or many eligible voters are not visiting their own constituency. Because they know after six month there will be another election. After six month there will be another election. You got the idea. So voters' apathy, low turnout is another reason that we are having the concept of simultaneous election. That in the single day we will be voting for Lok Sabha candidate, we will be voting for Vidhan Sabha candidate, and we will be voting for our local sarpanch and ward member also. You got the idea. this is the concept of simultaneous election voter turnout will be increased and on the single particular day government can announce holiday okay for one or two days so people can make their traveling arrangement to the their respective constituency yes or no via this we can increase voter turnout yes or no we can increase पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ यूथ इन द इलेक्शन प्रोसेस लाइक आपने सुना होगा दैट मेनी अ टाइम प्राइम मिनिस्टर मेंशन और प्राइम मिनिस्टर रिक्वेस्टेड द यूथ टू वोट यस ऑन नो व्हाई बिकॉज वी आर द यूथ एंड वी आर बिजी इन आवर ओन लाइफ एंड वी आर नॉट विजिटिंग मैंने भी नहीं मैं मैंने भी नहीं दिया मैं भी यही था यू गॉट द आइडिया व्हाई व्हाट इज एपथी समझ गए बात को Moreover, during election, election campaigns are frequent, and during election campaigns, you may have witnessed hate speeches. You may have witnessed identity politics. Yes or no? Identity politics is what is identity politics? Anyone? What is identity politics? <clears throat> Invoking your identity, like caste identity, religious identity, linguistic identity, ethnic identity, racial identity, like Hindu, Muslim, Dalit, Thakur, caste censors. You got the idea? Maratha versus outsider, Tamil versus outsiders, Kannada ga versus outsider. You got the idea? so invoking your caste identity invoking your religious identity invoking your uh, linguistic identity during election campaign is nothing but identity politics that they are seeking vote in the name of your that particular identity because of that identity politics don't you think that there will be animosity between different sections in the society yes if one politician is invoking one particular identity another politician will invoke other identity yes if one is invoking hindu identity then other will go for muslim identity or caste identity yes 
so it will create the situation of communalism it will create the situation of casteism or ethnocentrism or linguistic supremacy or son of soil movement can we say this more number of election more number of such hate speeches more number of such incidences and more communal violence yes or no are you getting my point तो जब आपको करना ही है तो एक ही बार में कर लो पांच साल का कोटा पूरा फिर हम पांच साल तो अच्छे से जी देंगे ना यू गॉट द आइडिया ओके सो दिस इज आल्सो वन ऑफ द आर्ग्यूमेंट ओके देख लेते क्या है साइमल्टेनियस इलेक्शन इन इंडिया रेफर्स टू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ होल्डिंग इलेक्शन फॉर द लोकसभा एंड ऑल स्टेट असेंबली एट द सेम टाइम this would mean that the entire country would go on the polls on a single day regardless of their terms of individual state government okay hawamnath kovin committee was recently constituted unke recommendations bhi pad lenge that simultaneous arguments in favor simultaneous election reduces the substantial recurring expenditure ye abhi discuss kar liya humne second point logistic ease Simultaneous election minimizes the logistic arrangement related to voters registration. एक ही बार में सब हो जाएगा. Polling stations, election staff, security deployment at a single time. After that, those security forces, like most of the time, CRPF, CISF are deployed, and because of that, their main duty is hampered. Like CRPF is involved in Naxal area to fight against Naxal insurgency. Yes or no? So for the next or for the rest of the time, they can focus on their okay main duty. So logistic ease. Third one is good governance and administrative efficiency. Like with simultaneous election, administrative resources such as security forces, civilian officials are utilized more efficiently as disruption caused by the code of conduct during separate election can impede the smooth functioning of the. government machinery that is nothing but the policy paralysis then and uh, recur recurring election can strain national security and law enforcement effort due to the prolonged deployment of security forces during election time okay these are the arguments apart from that simultaneous election can lessen the role of money power in the politics by reducing the frequency of election campaign and associated expenses okay money power is the new thing earlier we was uh, we were having muscle power yes with time all those muscle men became karodhpati and now they are not using muscle power like booth capturing like preventing people to vote yes or no all those muscle men are politicians right now okay all those muscle men are now using that money that they have earned in the elections so election expenditure zyada ho raha hai iska maine ek bahut acche report diye bataunga abhi okay associate expenses simultaneous election can mitigate divisive politics as more number of election more use of religion caste ethnicity in the form of identity politics which promote regionalism casteism ethnocentrism and communalism simultaneous elections uh, elections national issue to be promoted rather than the narrow agendas which can foster sense of national unity okay voters fatigue we have already discussed that voter fatigue is a cause of voter abstention which result from the electorate of representative democracy being asked to vote often on too many issues or without easy access to relevant information and simultaneous election can potentially increase the voter turn out at the national level by reducing voter apathy okay last election 65.79% turn out in the 2024 lok sabha election says election commission okay so voter turn out will increase because of the decreasing in voters apathy okay look at the level of wealth that they amassed kitne hai 
थ्री परसेंट ऑफ एम पी आर करोड़पति फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ देम आर फेसिंग क्रिमिनल चार्ज ये किसने दिया है रिपोर्ट एडीआर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिनाउंड ओके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एसोसिएट एसोसिएशन ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक रिफॉर्म यू कैन साइट एनी वे ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रिपोर्ट यू विल गेट गुड मार्क्स एडीआर ने ये डेटा दिया दैट नाइनटी थ्री परसेंट आर करोड़पति एंड फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट आर फेसिंग क्रिमिनल चार्जेस वाई बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ देम दो बाहुबलीज अवलियर दे वर यूज टू वर्क फॉर द पॉलिटिशियंस ओके देन एक दिन कालीन भैया ने सोचा देन वाई नॉट यस दैट हैपन इन रियालिटी दो बाहुबलीज टर्नड इन टू पॉलिटिशियंस दैट इज वाई दे आर हैविंग और ये तो लीगल है जो डेटा इलेक्शन कमीशन के सामने है है ना तो वही वाला सीन हुआ ये फिर अब दे यूज टू वर्क फॉर अदर पॉलिटिशियंस एंड देन कालीन भैया बिकेम इंटरेस्टेड इन पॉलिटिक्स एंड ही आल्सो स्टार्टेड कंटेस्टिंग इलेक्शंस यस यही हुआ है पूरा 93 परसेंट करोड़पति है फोर्टी परसेंट आर फेसिंग क्रिमिनल चार्जेस व्हाट विच एम इंडिकेट द नंबर ऑफ लॉ मेकर विथ एसेट मोर देन टेन करोड़ इज नाउ That is forty two percent. Ten crores is more. Forty two percent of the strength of the house. Another one zero three. That is nineteen percent have asset value between five to ten crore. And how many poor are there in our country? We are having largest concentration of poor people. We are having largest inequality. The gap between rich and poor. only 1% of the top wealthy people are having at least 56% of country's wealth yes the gap between haves and have nots sabse zyada kahan par hai puri duniya mein india mein that report is given by oxfam oxfam bhi bada important hai oxfam's report okay oxfam's inequality kills report आप वो करके लिख सकते हो सो लुक एट द कंडीशन समझ गए क्यों है ज्यादातर जो पॉलिटिशियन से दे ऑल आर करोड़पति ओके इफेक्टिवली द टोटल नंबर ऑफ एम पी विद एसेट वर्थ ऑफ फाइव करोड़ इज थ्री थर्टी और सिक्सटी वन ऑन द ऑपोजिट एंड ऑफ द स्पेक्ट्रम द नंबर ऑफ एम पी विथ एसेट वर्थ ट्वेंटी लैक्स कितना है so if you have not so we can say that if you have not kravpati the chances of your yours winning election is nil yes or no ho sakta hai ye ye fact baat hai aur ye sirf kiski baat hai mp's ki baat hai we are not talking about states ye sirf mp's mein ye haal hai so if you have not kravpati you will not win You you are not going to win any election. The report also clearly indicates that the cost of contesting an election is rising. ADR analyzed eight three zero zero candidate who contested the election this year, and when details compared with those who won, it shows that those who are having higher financial asset more successful. Simple है. पैसा ज़्यादा है. पैसा ज़्यादा खर्च करेंगे. ज़्यादा पौआ बांटेंगे आपको पता ही है बाकी मोडस ऑफ वेंडी यस सो मोर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मोर विल बी द वोट्स यस एंड वी हैव द सेम पीपल हु हैव आल्सो कंप्लेनिंग दैट दे हैव करप्ट यस फर्स्ट यू एक्सेप्ट ऑल दोस थिंग्स यस एंड देन यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग देम एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम देम दैट दे विल वर्क फॉर यू नो it is not possible over 32% of those with asset valued of 5 crore theek hai dekh lena isko theek hai ye line aap likh sakte ho kahin pe bhi it is an important statement that those who are having higher financial asset were more successful as comparison of the average asset of all elected mps between 2014 to 20 Four shows that this number has more than. सबका साथ, 
सबका विकास बट ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट एमपीस ओके यस सबका साथ सबका विकास री इलेक्टेड एमपीस सीज जंप इन द वेल्थ एडीआर ऑल्सो एनालाइज डेटा स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द एमपीस हु वर इलेक्टेड इन 2019 We contested in 2024 and won again. Their financial asset rose by one of the best business in India. Okay, कुछ ही दिनों में आप यूनिकॉर्न बन जाओगे. Yes or no? There are two two one four lawmakers who were elected in the last two national election, and their average financial asset amount. 26 yes? oh, ये लीगल डिक्लेयर्ड है है ना इसको वो जो अभी कहीं पे भी स्विस बैंक में कहीं पे रखा हुआ है कहीं पे जमीन में गड़ा हुआ है है ना ये नहीं है वो कहीं ड्राइवर के नाम पे प्रॉपर्टी दी हुई है सो बिगा जमीन ओके दिस इज नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन दिस है ना ये तो सिर्फ लीगल है जो इलेक्शन कमीशन के सामने डिक्लेयर किया हुआ है दिस राइज इन एवरेज फाइनेंशियल एसेट कम Despite in fact that the 48 of the re-elected MPs are not Kravipati, in fact 11 of them have been declared a reduction in their wealth. Okay. Look at the condition. Most expensive poll ever. कितना है? Compare this with. ठीक है? रोल ऑफ मनी पावर इन द इलेक्शन दैट इज वाई इलेक्ट्रोवेल बॉन्ड वॉज इन द न्यूज इन सम ऑफ द क्लासेस वी विल डिस्कस दैट ऑल्सो नाउ इट इज क्लियर दोज हुविंग हायर फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रेंथ विल बी विनिंग द इलेक्शन इट इज द क्लियर को रिलेशन और नॉट यस दैट इज वाई देर इज सो मच यू एन क्राई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इलेक्ट्रोवेल बॉन्ड other parties who were crying for electoral bond they were not crying because uh, because of the irregularity in that particular bonds they are crying that we got the less money hai na kisi ne usko lekar ke baat nahi ki ye kuch bhi ki ye process hi galat hai you got the idea unko yahi tha ki bjp ko zyada mil gaya unko ye nahi tha ki ye entire this system of an electoral bond is bad we will discuss hai na isko main detail mein bataunga ki ye kaise pura system flawed hai kaise black money is flowing in the indian electoral system okay how that laundered money is flowing in the system because of that electoral bond so nobody was talking about that why other parties were crying because they got less money <laughs> you got the idea okay so most expensive election 1.35 lakh crore was spent in 2024 theek hai this is the constitutional limit each mp can legally spend up to so 5 45 into 95 करना इसको कैलकुलेट करो करो यस फिफ्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन 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 फाइव करोर रियालिटी में कितना हो गया विच इज मोर देन कितना हो गया तीन गुना के आसपास है यस yes? लीगल so लिमिट से तीन गुना ज्यादा खर्च हो रहा है वॉट इलेक्शन कमीशन इज डूइंग यहां चाहिए ना हमें तो इंस्टेंट जस्टिस वाई दे आर नॉट गिविंग अस इंस्टेंट जस्टिस हियर वाई इलेक्शन कमीशन इज नॉट एक्टेड प्रॉम्प्टली यस दीज क्वेश्चन शुड बी वेस्ड एंड टू अवॉइड सच क्वेश्चन दे आर गोइंग वाया bulldozer justice you got the idea this is the tactic that government often uses okay so in 2024 lok sabha election is poised to shatter the previous record 
and become the most expensive elector. This is another uh, NGO which is known as Center for Media Studies. Okay, you can write this NGO as well. Argument against simultaneous election. First, some of the parties are saying that simultaneous election may undermine the principle of federalism as regional and local issue will be overshadowed by the national issue. Yes, right. National issues will be more powerful. And the local issues, kya kya ho sakte hai? like local issues. <coughs> Soch karke batao, apne apne state ka hi bata do. Like law and order, law and order problem of Uttar Pradesh. Hai na? Common hai. Yes, why not landslide? Yes, bad governance structure. Yes, we can say. Or infrastructure problem, basic amenities nahi hai. But entire election will be fought on the national issue yes so federalism will be undermined first point second the regional parties may feel marginalized or inadequately represented in simultaneous election scenario why because most of the regional parties are fighting the election on the local issues yes most of the regional parties so their issues will be overshadowed by the national issue. They will not get their due representation. Okay. Third point. Simultaneous election will require the procurement of additional electronic voting machine. And VVPET machine adding to the financial burden. That financial burden we were talking about. That multiple election burden. But you have to procure a bulk of VV pattern EVM to conduct a simultaneous election. So the cost will be same. Jo aap waha cost bacha rahe te wo utni yaha pe lag jayegi uske procurement mein. Okay. Next. Frequent election. This is important point. That frequent election at different levels of the government helps to maintain accountability among elected representative and ensure regular opportunity for the voters to check their representative as they visit regularly in their constituency yes or no first suppose for the lok sabha election they came for your constituency asking your vote after six months there will be election for some assembly for assembly they will again come so you can ask that before uh, six or you can say that six months ago you promised these things. How many things that you delivered? You got the idea. And after six months, they, they will again come for your vote in panchayat or for municipality. You can again ask. Ek baar ho gaya to wo paanch saal nahi aayenge fir. Yes or no? So, a regular check, a regular accountability. Then, simultaneous election will require fixed tenure of five years for all the houses, which necessitate constitutional amendment in Article 83, 85, 172, 174, dealing with the duration of dissolution. But Indian constitution allow premature dissolution of Lok Sabha and State Legislative Assembly. Okay continuing any of the assembly for five years will become a necessity yes or no but we have seen many instances where assemblies are prematurely dissolved because no party is enjoying majority there and no party is ready to form any government <clears throat> but because of the simultaneous election it will become a constitutional necessity to continue with that assembly or not <clears throat> So it will become an, uh, a constitutional necessity to continue with that thing. Okay. Apart from that, simultaneous election requires deploying large security forces. Now there was multiple times. Here in one time, there will be more large security. So those arguments which we were giving, the same arguments can be given here also in other way. Yes or no? Next, background. 
ऐसा नहीं है दैट वी डिड नॉट हैव एनी साइमल्टेनियस इलेक्शन फर्स्ट फोर इलेक्शन 1951 52 57 62 अप 67 वी वर हैविंग साइमल्टेनियस इलेक्शन ऑफ लोकसभा एंड स्टेट लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली बट ड्यू टू द डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोसेस लोकसभा इलेक्शन वाज कंटिन्यूड बट मेनी ऑफ द स्टेट असेंबलीज स्टार्टेड डिसॉल्विंग प्रीमैच्योरली एंड देयर टाइम वाज not synchronized after that right now we are having uh, lok sabha election with two state assembly election one is odisha another one is sikkim ha sikkim bhi tha na shayad sath mein lok sabha ke sath andhra pradesh bhi to tha andhra pradesh odisha and sikkim okay there after the schedule could not be maintained uh, and the elections to the lok sabha and state legislative assembly have still not been we aligned in 2019 only four states andhra pradesh arunachal pradesh odisha and sikkim had their assembly election and the same thing is true in 2024 also arunachal pradesh ka bhi hua tha saath mein hi hua tha election okay international comparison if we talk about south africa election to the national as well as provincial legislature have held simultaneously for 5 years and municipal also election held for 2 years later and in sweden election for national legislative and local municipal assembly have no have held on the fixed date okay so this is international comparison so if we are going with the simultaneous election we have sufficient point argument against it argument for it yes many and we can start with this also that uh, we have Uh, we had four simultaneous election but with the democratic process okay democratic process we are not having simultaneous election now certain committees recommendation like election commission in its annual report in 1983 had recommended that a system should be evolved to the election could be held simultaneously the law commission in its 170th report stated that we must go back to the past where the election to the lok sabha and the vidhan sabha were held simultaneously 79th report of the parliamentary standing committee 2050 also favored the idea of simultaneous election niti aayog 2017 paper also supported the same and recently this committee was in the news that is high level committee on the simultaneous election constituted under the chairmanship of Shri Ramnath Kovind has proposed a simultaneous election for the Lok Sabha, State Assembly, and local bodies. Okay, so this committee also supported the same idea. Okay, इतना लिख देंगे तो आपका क्वेश्चन हो जाएगा. Although कैसे इसको इम्प्लीमेंट करना है, it is not asked. फिर भी एक दो पॉइंट देख ही देते हैं. That according to Law Commission's report in 2018, appropriate amendment to the Constitution is needed. RPA is needed rules of procedure of lok sabha and state assembly is required second amendment in the five article that is 83 85 172 174 356 require at least 50% of the state should ratify the constitutional amendment because that will also alter the federal feature okay so apart from having constitutional amendment via parliament it will also require the ratification by the 50% of the total states okay so first amend this articles then this is important thing no confidence motion can be replaced with the constructive vote of no confidence what is this ye last discussion hai batao what is vote of no confidence first if opposition believes that current ruling party lost the majority in the house then they can bring no confidence motion voting will takes place and if no confidence motion will passed then the ruling party has to resign that is no confidence motion in india it is followed and after that governor in the case of a state or president in case of union government will invite single largest party or other party to form the government but in india it is not compulsory for the opposition party who brought no confidence motion to form the government unhone no confidence motion pass kiya 
सरकार गिर गई एंड आफ्टर दैट दे आर नॉट रेडी टू फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट यू गॉट द आइडिया दिस वॉज हैपन मेनी टाइम्स वी आर सेंग दैट वी शुड गो वाय नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन फर्स्ट नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन शुड बी पास बट इट शुड बी कंस्ट्रक्टिव मीन्स दैट पार्टी हु इज ब्रिंगिंग नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन शुड फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट आफ्टर द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ करेंट गवर्नमेंट अदरवाइज दैट पैसेज ऑफ नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड यू गॉट द आइडिया दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉन एज कंस्ट्रक्टिव नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन ये वाला तो डिस्ट्रक्टिव है ना हमारा यस yes, सरकार गिरा दो और फिर सरकार भी मत बनाओ एंड देन दे आर सेइंग दैट चलो वापस से इलेक्शन करवाते हैं यस और नो बट कंस्ट्रक्टिव वोट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस इज फर्स्ट अपोजिशन विल पास नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन देन दे विल ब्रिंग कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन फॉर देम एंड फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट यस ये यहां पे लिखा नहीं है बट दिस प्रैक्टिस इज ऑफ जर्मनी ये जर्मनी में प्रैक्टिस होती है ओके एंड एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ में भी राइट फुली डाइल्यूटेड वाई टू प्रिवेंट स्टेलमेट इन केस ऑफ हंग असेंबली वाई वाई एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ नीड्स टू बी डाइल्यूटेड सो दैट दो मेंबर्स कैन चेंज देयर पार्टी इन ऑर्डर टू फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट है ना अभी तो लग जाता है तो वो कर नहीं पाते हैं बेचारे हालांकि वो कर देते हैं है ना बट एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ के बाद वो इजीली पार्टी चेंज करके सरकार बनाने में मदद कर सकते हैं ठीक है रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ रामनाथ कोविंद कमेटी पढ़ लेना एक बार ओके नॉट डिफिकल्ट थिंग टू रीड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट योर टूडेज क्लास जस्ट गो विथ इट राइट डाउन वन क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस टॉपिक एज वेल वॉट इज साइमल्टेनियस इलेक्शन What is simultaneous election and simultaneous election? Critically analyze. Critically analyze. Yes, critically analyze. Analyze the impact of simultaneous poll on the federal structure. The federal structure of India. conduct of simultaneous poll on the federal structure of india federal structure of india yes example of karnataka state okay that's it for today's class uh, my gmail id is this if you are sending some questions then Okay thank you